Hi guys, welcome again. Uh, this time another episode of New Edition 7 Wonders. Today I've got two games with you uh, that are kinda a continuation of what I've tried to do at the end of the old edition. Today we'll be looking at the Babylon A or Babylon Day, uh, whatever you call it right now. You should call it Day probably. And um, Babylon Night right now is in a really good place. But I had a string of bad results with it, and I was wondering if it was still possible to play Babylon Day. Um, to talk about why I want to try Babylon Day in, at all, we have to first talk about Giza. I like at the start of the new edition, I thought that um, Giza B has like much more uh, weight now, just because they cancelled the awesome uh, first stage for uh, for Giza day so now it's it was the same uh, and it always has been kind of a problem for me to to run the stage here uh, it felt kind of awkward because if you pay for it that you do not have the money to buy double of this and stuff like that uh, and you of course now you need a brown resource uh, a gray resource also for Giza uh, Giza day but after, after playing it for a while, I do think that Giza Day is the way to go. Uh, this stage is much less awkward than this stage. Um, so that's that's a huge plus, and you have them in both of them. So what you are getting basically with, with Giza, uh, like how I want to look at Giza Night, is that you are getting this stage, which, which is basically an aqueduct. Um, and you are added... Uh, mm, a papyrus to the last stage so this this is bad like i i don't like it at all because there will be a lot of games where i end up with not having access to papyrus at all in the new edition and this is not something that that recompensates this for me enough um so uh and also like um if you want to play like a double uh double wonder uh, this is equally easy as this one I, I would say um, because you still need access to some other resources so all, all in all uh, I do think um, Giza day is the way to go in for uh, four players uh, and it kind of like the changes are kind of similar to what happened in ba to Babylon um, so I thought m maybe it's a good time to actually try Babylon day um, we are still Still trying to go for one set and do a lot of brown and just win fights if we, if we can. Um, the advantage is over overnight side there are much less. Uh, there is like there mm, there isn't that much advantage over night as it used to be in the previous version. Uh, the first one is that we have cloth instead of battle. Uh, that's pretty good. I think cloth is much better than battle. Uh, this can also be an advantage when we are uh, next to uh, Halicarnassus. The second advantage is, uh, this is a big one, actually, that, that's the sole reason that I decided to play it, is that you actually have stuff to do, <laughs> basically. Uh, a lot of the games, uh, you end up with, like, crap bad hands uh, at the end, and this is still good, um, but... When you think about it, this stage is actually harder uh, than this one. Um, you, you need three and you need a, a gray that's not very good for anything else, uh, really. Uh, like the battle is currently probably the worst one right now. Uh, so that's why I decided to uh, do this. So without further ado, I know this, this was a super long introduction, but I want to uh, like give you guys a reason why why I'm playing this. Uh, there isn't much, but I, I still wanted to try it. Let's see how it went, went out. Uh, this is like uh, a, a decent uh, rated uh, matchmaking game. Uh, so, mm, first of all, um, our plan, like why we are going this, we, um, again, this is, this is the board kind of to do it because I do not expect anyone to be in heavy green. Uh, so we can s probably safely splash uh, and if this was Ephesus, I would probably not have done this because um, With this not being Ephesus, we can go splash tablets. So this is 
press, obviously. Uh, this is like this was the plan all along to get press uh, early. Uh, now this is uh, I think uh, no I, I don't think I go scriptarium here uh, with the mm, with playing a lot of uh, Babylon A on the last uh, edition I noticed that tavern is actually a pretty good pickup so I do go for tavern here. And as you can see, this guy is not looking like a green guy, so that's very good for us. Here, I think, is the uh, my first mistake in this game. I think I should go Claypool here, uh, but I do go mm, for Lumberyard, I think. Because I just wanted to, like, dominate on Lumber. Uh, but that's not actually something that is necessarily that good for me. Uh, here, I do go Scriptorium, but I do believe that might be a second mistake. Um, glasswork is a strong consideration here, um, but I do think it's close just because of how bad glassworks is right now. Uh, here, um, altar is a um, great pickup for a uh, playstyle of Babylon A. So actually, like the altar being good, I think that's something that pushes it much more than it does for Babylon B. Uh, with Babylon Knight, you usually want to like play, be able to play all the cards. Uh, with Babylon A, uh, you can be much more focused because you have actually great points here um, and you do not need that much to, to gain them. And like a lot of people, uh, four wood is actually like the best four cost that you can ever have because a lot of people will go for wood and have at least one, so you actually just need two uh, to, to be able to, to build it. And a lot of people will actually build double wood in the second round, so that's what you get. And as you can see here, exactly what happened. Uh, that makes this pickup a little less bad. Uh, here, simple plan, do the tablet rush. Uh, in the end, he picked up workshop, uh, but no idea, like he still has no access to um, to press, so that was pretty good for me. Um, okay, so here I debated between Vineyard, Statue and Foundry. Um, I think I ended up with Foundry, and I think that's really good because I really need this. Uh, I already have Loom. I can pay for that, but I cannot get um, all the relevant um, orders to, to complete the second stage. So I really do need Foundry. And right now I'm running on four resources, which is like I have a space for one more. And here I think I've made a small mistake. Uh, I think Brickyard is the way to go, um, but I picked Card House. Um, I don't know what it is with me not picking Brickyards. Like, I think that's second video in a row that you can see that. Um, but um, honestly, no idea. I, I think I went uh, Card House instead of Brickyard, but I think this should be Brickyard most of the time. Um, here I, like, archery range is awesome here, um, but school is just more important to me. Uh, like, red is not possibly winning me enough points. Um, and on the last hand, like, on span ultimate hand, sorry, uh, I do build. Like, I have enough gold that I can actually build. And on the last hand, I get the statue. I'm still leaving the stages open. I'm running on four resources, so I need all the things that I can get, uh, basically, in the last hand. Um, when looking at it strategically, uh, I do have um, I do have a seven pointer. I do have six pointer from the library. Um, I do have a seven point um, tablet. That's two of them. That's that's always great. Um, I do have two stages, so um, I only need four cards. So I have a tablet, I have seven pointer, six pointer, 
um, and I do have um, double greens if I really need it, like the, the pair of greens to, to gain four and a half point each. Uh, so that was my plan going into this. And also with this resources, I'm really prepared for the uh, scientist guild. That's also something that's worth noting uh, with, with this wonder. That's actually like you are super prepared and that's not at all the case with the night side. With the night side, you, you actually have the other brown resources. Uh, so here, not a lot of stuff. Um, I need six gold to complete, so I can only spare one. Uh, I do expect to get some gold back, but not much, to be honest, because uh, he already has a forum, so I won't get from here. Um, I don't know how much triple, res triple uh, gray he will pick. Um, so I think I just went into university. Uh, because, as you can see, this guy uh, needs university also to complete his uh, his stage. Um, and I just, you know, I, I really need it. <laughs> For, because it, it will be a 9 point at some point, uh, because of the building of the second stage. Okay, I, I got some gold. That was really nice. Uh, here, workers is fine, uh, but expensive, but I still need to build it. Um, here, I was debating whatever gardens, but I thought that's, that, that's too expensive, actually. So I've actually hid uh, this one. Uh, this leaves this hand with nothing good for the rest of the people. Um, they do not have um, a spare site, so they will just build stuff. Um, one thing that's worth pointing out is that both Olympia and... Um, Giza and also Alexandria, they all won red super chip in the last round. Uh, this was due to hiding and due to me not playing reds. Um, so, you know, that's something to, to also point out. They won it with one and he actually won like from the first age and he won it with uh, one from the second age. So that's really cheap. And that kind of, you know, they, they have a lot of resources. He has uh, seven. He has four, he actually has six, and he has eight, no, seven. So that's one more than usually, but that's one red, than one less red than usual. So that's actually better for them. Uh, so here, hiding gardens. Here I do get Pantheon and Senate on one hand. Uh, it looks really lucky, but actually, you know, Senate would be just one one point less, and I should wield one of them. Um, here, nothing too good, so I decided to just hide. Uh, no, so I decided just to play the Haven here. As you can see, my advantage is pretty big. Uh, Tsukenobi um, is not winning both reds. Gala is winning uh, is only winning one red as well, so uh, that makes them only six points stronger than me. I do have a seven pointer, so I thought that I can actually play the Haven and still uh, win the game. And on last hand, of course, nothing, but I do get my wonder stage. And in the end, um, this is this is actually kind of a fun end uh, because uh, I do get first place and the second one is Olympia uh, mainly due to <laughs> Barracks uh, winning him every fight um, but you know that's also good that he realized that he doesn't need to play other reds because I was busy building other stuff and uh, like we both profited off of that the third place is here and the last place is here um, th this was the game where I don't know if that much like luck happened. Uh, there was like not bad green spread as usual when you when you play it. You you don't want, for example, to library and school end up on the same hand. Um, but I didn't look like very threatening, and um, the resources were very small. But they 
they provided me with a lot of opportunities like the, this this blue freeze actually enable this kind of strategy to to go really far i think um and i didn't need an access to the glassworks i think i i don't think i've used it all game uh, so that's also something to keep in mind uh, also olympia doing pretty good in this game as well uh, I will I think most people would have uh, like would have prepared for to play Giza from these four wonders in the setup uh, maybe Babylon Knight also uh, but probably not 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 the first and second place in this game so I, I thought it was quite fun uh, but let's get into the other game which is even more crazy uh, this time Ephesus is here and that's why I decided to run it because I can just buy it off him uh i mean the press uh and in the second round i'm before him so i can probably get the um, tablets that i need and of course i can do some other stuff uh but you know, that was the general idea uh also i still think olympia is one of the fighting wonders like you can play a lot of reds um and being across it uh my second plan was to, to actually you know uh, all my resources on my wonder I, uh, are designed for red. Uh, the same here, kind of on on the on the B side, but also the A side can can play a lot of red. Uh, so here we start with the best one. Uh, Clay pit is amazing. Uh, that's really really good. Mm. On the second hand. Nothing like too great. Um, I was considering altar. I was considering barracks. I was considering glassworks even, and I was considering tavern, um, and I was even considering east trading post. There is just a lot of stuff here. Um, really hard to to say what's best. Uh, it all depends on what like what type of game you want to play. Uh, I think I chose Altar in the end because I just had so so great memories with playing the, the Altar. Um, but, you know, I can see all the picks except Theater probably here. So he is looking kinda greenish. Um, on this hand, I think it's time to, um, to pick up the set second uh, R. Uh, that will give me um, good opportunities to play red in the second round. But I do for go for Lumberyard, which I think is reasonable, but maybe a small mistake. I think Orvain would have been better from this hand. Um, here I do pick up Scriptorium and I pay for it. Um, or maybe I switch to Stokade, I don't remember to be honest. Because I think Stokade is an important pickup here. Unfortunately, it isn't as good as it looks, just because Olympia is not looking uh, red at all. Uh, so there is some merit to Scriptorium. Um, I wouldn't pre like this guy confuses me a lot <laughs> uh, because he just passed two greens, which suggests that he's probably not interested in green or he just wants to splash it. Um, here, this is just guard tower because you know there is nothing else I can throw also. But and he's actually picking up some uh, some green. Mm. Here, I think this is the uh, the big mistake in this game. What I should do from this hand is throw. Uh, this is one hundred percent throw. Uh, like no questions asked. Uh, if I'm not throwing, then it's is trading. Uh, but I should throw from this hand, and I think I just pick up theater because no, I I do pick up trading post. I thought I'd pick theater, uh, but I still think it's it's a throw. As you can see, um, with double wood, like I still think it was a small mistake, uh, but you no know, something to to think about is that I do actually secure uh, the last stage because of those lumbers. Um, here I think uh, I made another mistake. Um, 
I went into library because you know I, I like uh, finishing up um, but there is actually no way that I'm picking up school because I have no money uh, so I actually think this is forum um, yeah or even uh, like throw walls or something or throw I don't know nothing good good to throw probably you can throw court cows but I wouldn't um, so yeah, I th I think this is this is a small mistake. That's because I cannot build the school. This was the card that I really wanted to see, but I didn't. So uh, here I think I threw training ground, uh, which is a good play. I I think that's the best that I can do from this hand. Uh, let's count how much stuff I need. I need one gold, four, three, uh, no four. So that's actually five. Uh, 8 gold total, so that, that's a lot. Um, here I threw uh, training ground. Here I go archery range actually, uh, and I think that's very, uh, like th that's the only thing that you can do. Uh, that's, that's the only thing keeping me up in this game. Uh, here I do take school because you know now I can actually play it but it just shows you how how much it pains this wonder to actually be buying uh, press instead of you know getting it for free I do think I played the courthouse here which is reasonable and again we have like this guy is on eight resources uh, this is looking very crazy. Uh, here I was debating whether I should throw, build, or um, play the card. <laughs> Basically, all, all three options are viable, even though I have a double. Um, playing actually saves me no gold, so that's the worst, probably, because I'm not very much interested in anything. Um, throwing is decent, but I thought that that's just too slow. So I decided to build it. Mainly build the wonder. In the end, th this was like super crazy era just because of them hiding. Uh, as you can see, total seven cards were, were hidden. Um, I win both reds with just playing archery range. Uh, and I, do f I did throw one card as well, and that was uh, a red card. And he, he played the stables, uh, and that let him win as here as well. Um, here, this is very unfortunate, <laughs> because uh, I'm just one gold off scientist, which would be super excellent for me. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. So I just go Senate. Uh, again, library proves to be one of the best... Um, green cards just because it lets you senate and university there are t two universities and senate is a card that you can usually get and uh, it actually screws with some of the plans because you know it makes the hand uh, that much worse there is not much left on this hand to be honest there was just uh, you know town hall again uh, pantheon uh, altar being really good mm, you can question this play with uh, fortifications being the first pickup, but I would wait to the end of the game with that. Let's see how it develops actually. Uh, he gets an 8 pointer, and now from this hand, not much. I think I went into just uh, gardens. No, I actually... Um, is that reasonable? I do think it's reasonable. Um, Academy is like four and a half, so that's almost like Gardens. Um, but actually maybe better just because we are so scarce for uh, gold. So the plan is to build uh, Academy and then build another COG. Study, precisely. Um, 
Arena would have been nice if I had the money to, and if I had like the second stage and I was able to build Arena, I would very much like to do so. I was a little scared that the second university won't get back to me, but it actually does. And this is the game where I actually do not build the, the third, uh, third stage of my wonder. He gets an excellent pickup with that. And um, last one is obviously a stage. Doesn't matter which one, because, you know, no Halicarnassus. Uh, and let's look at the end of the game. As you can see, like when I was looking at this game and like I played this game, I thought this was questionable, but actually it got him 12 points. <laughs> No one else played it. I think this was like one of the crazier ones that I've played in a while. Uh, in the end, I am second place after Olympia, who played a very weird game, but we'll take a look um, just in a second. Uh, but let's look here. Um, 61 points, so pretty respectable. Second place. Um, and again, when like, if you were choosing the, the positions and the wonder, I think most players agree right now that Ephesus is the best wonder in four players. Um, he actually got eight pointer, he got a guild for 10 points. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's something. Um, he won both fights with only one red, uh, like with two reds, that, that's crazy. Um, and, you know, he still got like Haven for eight points. Um, I would say that I don't know how he lost that, but he just overplayed resources and he shouldn't have played this university. I don't know what was that. Um, but, you know, the second probably would have been Giza or Babylon Knight. Uh, and the last would be Olympia, who actually won this game. Let's take a look at that. Uh, he only played one resource card, like traditional resource card. He played a one, two, three, four, five resource cards. That's always good. Um, he did get one amazing guild for 10 points, uh, one good guild, and one like, let's say, one very good guild and one good guild. Um, but other than that, you know, this is just like some yellow push uh, with Caravanserai. But he was prepared with that for market play with marketplace. Um, good winning red, but he you know he just won it once, and I think he buried both of these cards for that win. Uh, so that was something. I don't know, just very creative play, I would say. Mm, not sure how he got. Oh, he got it off that. But in the end, like, th there is nothing, like, super amazing here. This is just, like, solid play. Um, except for this guild, maybe. But other than that, you know, nothing too good. He d didn't receive, like, mu much gold. I would imagine he only gets, like, something from, from this guy. And, you know, maybe for this stage. But not too much, honestly. Like, not too much. He obviously didn't receive any gold from him. Uh, so props to to this play and to CNN07, very creative. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys for two reasons. One, because I wanted to, you know, give you the full breathing on the Babylon A, which I think is playable, uh, but just a little bit worse probably than the Night Side. Uh, if the Night Side was a little less good, for example, if it had three stones on the first stage. I think Babylon A would be serious contender uh, in four player games. Uh, but here mm, this is this is just something that I wanted to show you. Like this is a legit win versus people who actually had good stuff because you know he had Builders Guild, he had this guild for 10. In the end, like two players that are were fighting opposite each other on greens won. Uh, partially because we, we won the, the reds, but actually, you know, the, the advantage is pretty big. It's an eight points. Uh, and when you think about the resource cards, uh, usually you swap the resource card for like f three or four points, let's say. Uh, so that's not something that you can... Um, like, with if he gets four points for both of them, then he wins, but he, he gets less points for other stuff. 
Mm, so pretty cool game. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed it. And until later, see you guys. Bye.